Okay, let's take a look at the Module 7 review for Pythagorean Theorem. I'd like you to write the formula for the Pythagorean Theorem at the top of the paper, which is on your formula chart, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And a represents a leg on a right triangle, and so does b. And then c represents the hypotenuse of a right triangle. And so if we draw a right triangle, the legs are always connected by that right angle. So we have A, B, and so C has to be the side that's not connected by the right angle. And it's also considered to be the longest side. It's going to be always longer than A and always longer than B when looked at separately. So number one, we have this picture, and this is a Pythagorean theorem model. And so we have three squares. We have a smaller square, another small square, and then we have a large square. How do I know this is the largest square right here, which I'm going to label C? Because that square, at least one side of that square, represents the hypotenuse measurement. So we have the right angle, so therefore we have a leg. We have a leg here, and then we have a leg here. And so I know that if this side is unknown, but I know the measurement to this side, since that is a square, and a square has congruent sides, then this measurement also has to be 9, okay? Also, when I'm given the area of a square, I can find the side length of that square by taking the square root of the area. So the square root of 15 is approximately 3.87. So if I were asked to find this side length, I know it's approximately 3.87. And so now let's read the problem. Depeche Mode is playing a concert in the shaded square below. How much square footage? So notice that it says footage, but for some reason these measurements have been listed in inches. So you can cross out inches. And Instead of inches, we're going to think of feet. How much square footage do they have available to set up the stage? So we know that the stage, uh, plan a concert in the shaded square below. So here's the stage, because it's shaded. And so we want to find the square footage, which means we need to find the area What's the area of that stage? Well, we've learned in this unit to, when you're given the area of two out of these three squares, to find the area of the missing square, you either add the two areas together or subtract the two areas. So since the stage represents a leg, and we know that because this side is connected by the right angle, so this has to be a leg, to find the area of the stage, we just take the area of C, which is 9 squared, or 81. And we're already given the area of the other square, and we subtract them. So the area of the stage is simply 81 minus 15, which is 66. And the units is feet. And since we're dealing in an area, we always square the units. So your answer is going to be 66 feet uh, squared. 66 square feet, so we don't need to add the exponent. Okay, so the answer is C. Uh, number two, you're missing a leg measurement. So use the Pythagorean theorem to find that missing measurement. A squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I'm going to label this leg A 
this leg B, and so 6.5 has to be C. So just plug those measurements into Pythagorean theorem to solve for the missing measurement. Number three, we have a baseball diamond. A baseball diamond is just a square that's twisted with a side length of about 60 meters. Sylvester Stallone throws the ball from second base, so here's second base, to home plate. So let's draw a picture of him throwing, or at least the path that the ball takes to get to home plate from second base. How far did he throw the ball? So here's your right angle. So that means we have a leg here, a leg here, and the distance that this person threw the ball from second base to home plate represents C. So we're going to plug in our measurements into Pythagorean theorem. 60 squared plus 60 squared equals C squared. And now you can solve. So square 60, add them, and then take the square root to get your answer. Number four, the bottom of a ladder must be placed three feet from a wall. So we have the ladder. We have the wall. Must be placed three feet from the wall. So this distance has to be three feet. The ladder is 12 feet long. Uh, how tall is the wall? So notice your right angle is here. So we're missing a leg measurement. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. My ladder represents my c measurement. Uh, we can label three feet either a or b. I'll label it a. So we have three squared plus b squared. And now all you need to do is square those two numbers, subtract the smaller number from the larger number, and then take the square root. So 3 squared is 9. 12 squared is 144. Subtract 9 from both sides. You get b squared equals 135. And now your final step is to just take the square root of 135. Number five, just plug those measurements in a Pythagorean theorem and solve. Number six, a farmer wants to run water from the watering hole to his farmhouse. Water source to farmhouse. How much shorter would it be if he ran it straight there versus following the rural road? So here's the rural road. Here's our right angle. The right angle always connects our legs. Our legs are represented by A and B in Pythagorean theorem formula or equation. So now that we've labeled our sides, we're going to plug the information that we're given into the Pythagorean theorem. 12 squared plus, I don't know the length of B or the road, the rural road, so I'm going to replace I'm going to keep b squared in my formula, in my equation. All right, so now we know 12 squared is the same thing as 12 times 12, which is 144. 34 squared is 34 times 34, which is 1,156. Subtract 144 from both sides. I'm going to write it down here. So we're left with b squared equals 1, 0, 1, 2. Yep. And so now we take the square root. To get rid of that exponent, we take the square root. So the square root of 1,012 is 31.8. And some of you will stop there and say your answer is 31.8. And you're not going to be correct because um, what we want to find out is if we take the path from the water source to the farmhouse, we know it's 34 meters. 
But if we go from the water source and we take the rural road, we have to go down 12 meters and then to the right, 31.8 meters. So to find out how much shorter the direct path is, we need to add 31.8 and 12. Line up your decimals, add the columns. So we get, to take the long route, we're traveling 43.8 meters. To find out how much shorter, the shorter route is, we need to subtract 34 from 43.8. So three, that becomes 13. And so we get, what, 9.8 meters. So that is going to be your answer, 9.8 meters. So the, the longer route is 43.8 meters, the shorter route is 34 meters. How much shorter is it? 9.8 meters. Number seven. So determine whether a triangle with each set of side lengths is a right triangle. Step one, I want you to label these sides. Remember, the longest side is always your C measurement. The two shorter sides can be A or B. I'll say this is B and that's A. And now, we want to plug these measurements into the Pythagorean theorem. So 12 has to replace the C in the theorem. So we have 100. We have 121. We have 144. Are these two sides equal? Of course they're not equal. So when they're not equal, when the two sides are not equal, we're gonna say, no, it's not a right triangle. Not a right triangle. So for the rest of these, B through E, show your work, always show your work, but just write yes or no. Is it a right triangle? Number eight. Melissa left her house and rode a train north 10 miles. So we need to put a dot, and that dot represents Melissa's house. And she rode a train north, so we have to go up from the house and put a second dot. And that represents 10, that distance, that length is 10 miles. She then rode another train east, to the right is east, 11 miles. If she rode an airplane straight home, how far would that be? So we need to find this distance between those two dots, between her house and the this point. So draw in your right angle. We know that the legs are connected by the right angle. So we can plug 11 and 10 in for A and B in the Pythagorean theorem. 221. So we have to take the square root of 221 to get our distance, and I'll let you do that in your calculator. Square root of 221. Number nine, find the length of the missing side. We're missing C, use Pythagorean theorem with six and three as your leg measurements. Number 10, we have another triangle, or excuse me, yeah, triangle that's formed, right triangle that's formed by those three squares. So what is the value of X? X represents a leg. There's different ways to approach this. I know this measurement has to be 17. I know this leg measurement has to be the square root of 225 which is 15. And so now, since I know that this is C, and we'll call this A in this square B, <coughs> I know that this leg has to be 15. So I can plug that in for A into the Pythagorean theorem equation. I don't know B, whoops put two addition symbols. I don't know B. I do know C is 17. 225 plus B squared 
plus 17 squared. Subtract 225 from both sides. Get 64. Take the square root of both sides, you get 8. So x has to equal 8. And the last page. So we have four similar problems. Um, notice that in the first problem, 11a we'll call it, uh, you have four different problems to work. This isn't a multiple choice uh, problem. Uh, first thing is to plot these two points. Well, it's already been done for you. We see a point here and a point here. The second step is to connect the two points. And after you connect the two points, draw a horizontal and vertical line to make your right triangle. Here's your right angle. And now we're going to use these x-axis measurements. So this point starts at 1 and goes to 4. So 1, 1, 2, 3. So this leg has a measurement of 3. And now to measure this leg, you start at 3 and you go to 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And so I can now plug those measurements into Pythagorean theorem for A and B and solve for C. So C equals 5. So that means this length here has to be 5, and that would be your answer. So for this type of problem, when you plot your two points and you connect the two points, that line that you use to connect the two points is your missing C measurement in Pythagorean theorem. I'll let you do the other three on your own. Number 12. The diagram below shows three square parking lots that enclose a grassy area shaped like a right triangle. Lot A's perimeter is 30. And lot C's perimeter is 50. What is the area of the triangle? So to find the side length when you're given the perimeter, you divide by 4. So 50 divided by 4 is 12.5. 30 divided by 4 is 7.5. What is the area of the triangle? So to find the area, we use see the area of triangle formula is 1 half base times height. Well, we don't know this measurement, but we have enough information to find that measurement. So there's two or more methods to find that missing measurement. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem. So you have 7.5 squared plus our missing measurement is B. So 7.5 squared is 56.25. Twelve point five squared is under fifty six point two five. Subtract fifty six point two five from both sides. We're left with a hundred, so b squared equals one hundred. Take the square root of a hundred, you get ten. So we know that this measurement, this side length is ten. And let's do a quick mental, mental math check. Both these measurements separately need to be smaller than the hypotenuse measurement, and they are. So we know that we're probably right when we calculated the measurement of 10. If we calculated a measurement greater than 12.5, then we know we did something wrong, but we're fine. 
So to find the area, we do base times height, and then take half of it, right? That's the formula for area of a triangle. So base times 10 times 7.5 is 75. One half base times height. 10 times 7.5 is 75. And now just take half of that and you get 37.5 would be the area of that triangle. Okay, so be sure to complete the rest of the problems and good luck when you're doing that.